Okay, now let's move on to another story that not too many people are happy with. President Muhammadu Buhari came out yesterday to state that the political future of Igbo people in Nigeria depends on his re-election in 2019. Now the president stated this at the Southeast Mega Rally at Dan Aniyam Stadium in Imo State, organized by Governor Rocha Sokorocha. Now this is as notable Igbo leaders in APC in the Southeast region as they shun the um, Okorocha's rally. And the former governor of Abia State as well, serving ministers from the zone, serving senators from the zone, former senators, House of Representative members were absent. Now also the deputy governor of the state sent, and also another senator and former speakers of the House of Assembly shunned the rally. Now President Bahari was represented by the secretary to the federal government of the Federation of the SGF, that is Boss Mustafa, and he stated, quote unquote, the people of the Southeast are a part of Nigeria and they have the right to make a claim where the need arises and we will all support them. The Igbo leaders, sorry, the Igbo are not good starters, but whenever they start, they can catch it. Let me say this, 2019 is an election that will make or mar the chances of Igbo in Nigeria. I want Igbo to make a paradigm shift. You see, it is important, I don't want to, because if I get angry on a Wednesday, you will not like it. It is important that we emphasize first that we are first humans. It is important to look at Nigeria. The problem I have is the fact that we have lost our sense of history and we have lost our sense of pride. All of these Southeast, Southwest, uh, South, South, Northeast, Northwest, North Central, they are political creations by unscrupulous political uh, uh, members of the elite. And this is what they do. They divide us, they weaken us and take advantage of us. The truth is, our problems are similar. You want to go home and turn on your switch and have power. I want to turn on my switch and have power. I don't want to spend a large chunk of my salaries on powering my generating set. You hear bang, 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 when you're sleeping in the night. That's not young John, the wicked producer. It is vigilante that you pay to keep you safe in your country. And you have people who surround themselves with hundreds of uh, 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 police officers. If you look at the fella shrine now. EOD came, bomb sweep. DSS, bomb sweep. The special people from uh, the French consulate came, bomb sweep and everything. They protect themselves, but we are left at the mercy of bandits and people who want to take I'm our lives. I'm actually glad that we're speaking about security challenges in the north. I'll be connecting to our Abuja studios shortly, but thank you very much for, for um, joining us, Chukwudi. Thank you. Let me just end like this. First, we are Nigerians. This country belongs to all of us. There is no ego interest, Yoruba interest, Hausa interest. Whether you like it or not, the truth is, if you deal with poverty, we all deal with poverty together. I have not, I have not heard anywhere where they say 18,000 naira is the minimum wage for people from the southeast. 18,000 naira is minimum wage across board. 13.5 million is running cost across board. So your senator that is from the southeast is balling. The honorable is balling. You are suffering. And you that you are suffering, you are fighting another man that is suffering. When suffering people begin to fight each other, what does that tell of their madness? Chaos, absolutely. anarchy, and absolute brutality. Unfortunately, that's not the kind of Nigeria we want, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank to enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.